Hello and welcome to another t tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate how to file for Fringe Benefit Tax Return. First, you need to log in with your correct user ID and password. Once logged into your account, select the Filing Obligation tile. Filter the Filing Obligations by selecting Tax Return Type as Fringe Benefit Tax. The list of FBT tax return due and overdue will be displayed. Select the FBT return that you wish to file. Once loaded, a set of instructions will appear. Click on Declaration checkbox and click on Next to continue. Now the system will ask the question whether you're filing an ill return or not. If you select Yes, then the system will ask you to provide the reason for the nil return from the drop-down. However, if you select No, then a list of fringe benefit categories will be displayed on the screen. To fill details for Debt Waiver Fringe Benefit, click on the icon beside Debt Waiver. A pop-up page will appear, displaying the TIN, name, type and amount. Click Add Beneficiary button. Enter the TIN of the employee. If the TIN is correct, the taxpayer name will be displayed. The system will show an error message that the TIN entered is invalid. Select the type of beneficiary from the drop-down and the value of benefit amount. To add another beneficiary, click the Add Beneficiary button. Then you can enter details of another beneficiary again. There is also an option to delete a beneficiary details on this screen. Please note, the amount field on this screen is not the fringe benefit tax amount. This is only the value of fringe benefit amount. The FBT tax amount is auto-calculated based off the amount centered here. Click on Confirm and you will be navigated to the main FBT Categories screen. Similarly, you can enter details on other for fringe benefit types. If you are entering discounted interest fringe benefit, other information the employer will be required to enter apart from TIN and type of beneficiary are employer interest rate, loan balance, start and end dates. The employer interest rate is the interest rate that is charged by the employer for the loan provided to the beneficiary. The market interest rate shows the current market rate. This is a display field and cannot be edited. The employer will also be required to enter the loan balance at the start of each month, together with start and end date. The loan balance has to be entered for all three months in a quarter if the loan term exceeds the quarter period. So for this benefit type, the employer has to enter beneficiary records three times if the loan term is for all three months for the quarter. Once the employer has entered all beneficiary details, click confirm to go back to main lodgement screen. For the motor vehicle fringe benefit, the value of benefit calculation, apart from TIN and type of beneficiary, the employer has to enter the engine CC of the motor vehicle provided as benefit, this is a drop-down selection. The employer has to enter the cost of the motor vehicle. Please note, if the cost of the motor vehicle exceeds 100,000, there is a different calculation of value of benefit. The employer has to enter the start and end date of the period the benefit is provided. This is to ensure that value of benefit calculated is only for the period or number of day the benefit is provided. If all the fields are entered correctly, the amount field will be automatically be displayed. The value of motor vehicle calculated depends on the engine CC selected, the cost of vehicle, private and partial use of vehicle, and the period for which the vehicle is used. If the motor vehicle provided as benefit is also used in the office, that is partially for business and partially for private use, the employer has to tick on the checkbox, also for office use. Once the employer has entered all the beneficiary details, click Confirm to go back to the main lodgement screen. On the main lodgement screen, the total value of benefit will be displayed. Once the employer has entered all the details, click on the next step to continue. Here, the system will display the summary of total value of benefits for all benefit types declared and the fringe benefit tax payable for the benefits thereafter. Click Next after reviewing summary page. Enter the TIN and designation of the person filing the return and click the declaration checkbox. And click Submit. After submitting the form, an acknowledgement page will be displayed with your reference number. You can also click and download the acknowledgement letter. When the form is submitted and auto-processed, you will be notified via the correspondence tile on the main TPAWS dashboard. We hope that you have been able to follow through. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorial videos. For more information or queries, please email info at frcs.org.fj.